Hey y'all, this is Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales and Service Repair. Hope you guys are having a good week. Here I have a 2021 uh, Miss Pac-Man Black Edition uh, cocktail table. Great looking cocktail table, but I'm going to take you through a few things to show you the difference between what I sell and what others sell. Most folks just have this top graphic, that's it. It's all they have, and then they'll have a little graphic for the control panel. This is a whole separate graphic uh, edition. Uh, as you can see, we've done it. We're doing the cabinet in black. We've got an incredible logo that goes around the coin door. This is not on other Miss Pac-Man cabinets. So I want you to take a good look at that, how great it looks. Incredible looking stuff. The control panels, the extra graphic on the side. That's not all, you know. Of course, this is the uh, incredible uh, three-quarter inch uh, cabinet. This is... A, uh, this is real tempered glass, actually tinted. See the control panel, have heavy duty. Player one, player two buttons. But also have graphics on the back. So wherever you put this table, it's going to look great. Like I said, sorry about the, the glare on the monitor, but I'm also going to show you inside. And there's a couple of reasons I want to do that. Uh, to show you the difference between what I do inside my cabinets, outside my cabinets, as compared to what other companies do. So I'm gonna pop this open. This actually opens. There's two latches. There's a latch in here, latch in here. And once you unlatch them, you can pick this up. This is just like the originals. The other companies, they just sit a top down on top of it, screw it down, and they, they don't ever plan on you having to do anything. And I go to these places all the time having to fix their games. Well, that's not what this is designed to do. So I'm gonna pop it open, show you inside, show you a few things. And voila, I've opened her up. And just going to show you some cool little things. Of course, I do incorporate the lights of the control panel now, um, like the original. These have color changes on it. Some folks want red or white. Whatever color you want, I can do. Um, but inside, you'll notice right off the bat, two 6x9 speakers. What these other guys do, this is what they do. They put one of these in there. And that's cool for whatever you got to do, whatever kind of budget you're on. But that's not what I do. So there's dual 6x9 speakers. That's a 200 watt power brick. I used to use these in a lot of the cabinets. And I still use them from time to time for another purpose or to help folks out replace this stuff. But I no longer really put these in any of my new games anymore. The, um, just had some problems sometimes with the reliability or something changing. What I have is these 200 watt power bricks. Um, these things are great. I haven't had any issues out of a power supply and I cannot tell you when and what this is sitting here this is just a controller for your monitor which i'll set inside the coin door and uh, so i'll sit that in there once it's closed and that way you can control your coin door if you want to incredibly reliable solid state board now you know you guys know i do the raspberry pi games computer based games too where you play thousands of thousands but this is the ultimate vh board that thing plays incredible the game selection is incredible it's uh, just plays flawlessly you've got your real coin door mechs and it's not just real coin door mix. It's wired. It's ready to take money. And I'm just doing that on all of them now too. So unless you don't want it or you want a blank coin door, you've got those options. Got your Game Pro monitor. This one might be a well gone. Uh, yeah. So I only use Game Pro Wells Garner. That's a paddle of nothing but monitors. Um, I don't, don't use the uh, cheap computer monitors. None of that stuff. So... Anyway, just fixing to wrap this one up, get it ready to go. This was going to Maryland. Uh, we've got this one heading to that's 96, South Carolina. And the Fathom, which is under here, got it covered up, is heading to Cary. And then I got to get some more cabinets in here. That's going to be a really cool Supercade. Uh, and then we got, I'm actually doing two four players next week. So a lot going on. But y'all, I just wanted to take a second to walk you around. Like I said, three quarter inch cabinet, digital vinyl graphics. Um, it's just a really cool package and we do these a lot of the cabinets I do are custom so there's a lot of custom designs but you know typically I won't show you any stays but you know there's a big difference in what I'm doing and what these other guys are doing I'm just trying to make something extremely reliable giving you your best bang for your buck making sure that your wife's not going to beat you on the head number one it shows up not working when you buy from most of these other places number two she's going to beat you in the head when it quits working four or five months down the line but that's not what's going to happen here so y'all, just a quick look. I'm gonna close her up. Hold on one second. And Alakazam, pow! There you go. Anyway, y'all got this closed up. Fixing to wrap it up, clean it up. 
I'm gonna, and you just latch. Once I close it up, you just latch right here and here, and away you go. So we're gonna get this bad boy ready to go, and get up to Roger in Maryland. And uh, y'all wanna thank y'all for your business, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure y'all hit me up. I'll get back to you ASAP. Um, you can get a hold of me here on Facebook. You can call me. Uh, you know, I give out my number every time, or you can go to AAS Myrtle Beach. You can email me there, uh, or you can get your game on. You can give me a call at 434 Hey, y'all. Get your game on.